So welcome to the Crane's Nest Dojo. It's a typical rainy day, just a little east of Tacoma, Washington. I'm gonna share some of my equipment that I have in this dojo on my YouTube channel. So the first thing is I have a post that is sunk into a concrete bucket. And then I have a uh, rattan stick bungeed to the post and that works as a spring arm. I have a wave master bag and then right now on it I have uh, bungeed on a homemade makawara that's two cedar po or cedar planks and then a little bit of rope. Uh, it's quite firm but the, uh, the wave master gives it some spring. I have a couple of folding mats, good for sit-ups and anything else you want to do. Probably one of the most important things I have is a dry erase board. Uh, this has from Sunday watching the Seahawks game where uh, my wife and I did a thousand sit-ups together. I have a traditional makawara. Then I have uh, jars. I picked these up at a uh, import store. I have a couple of hammers and stones. I have a hoop. I have a wheel. A uh, very good piece of equipment, kettlebells, a wrist roller, which is a piece of one of the hammer's handles with rope attached that I hang the kettlebells off, uh, nunte, various sai, striking stone, various hand weights, um, kicking shield, uh, medicine ball, bungee cords, other sticks, buckets of rocks for various things. So here's some photos of various people uh, from my training career, some sci that are important to me, and a few certificates and different things. So you don't need a lot to make a home dojo. You just need to put in the effort and the time to train. Any space will work. Sometimes it's really cold in the crane's nest. Uh, work harder. All right, thank you.